Good morning. Good afternoon. As I always say, wherever you are in the world, it's really good to be with you. And it's really good to be with me, my very good friend, Phoebe Francis, in Dubai. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And thank you, Graham. Uh, lovely to be with you. And uh, uh, great to have this conversation together. Yeah, always. So I, I'm going to pick up on a suggestion that you made. And that is that we talk about a very important part of leaders' requirements, if you like, what leaders should be doing and how they should be behaving. And quite often this is overlooked in other leadership programs, but it's a fundamental part of the leadership challenge. It is so important. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about values. Yes. So these are these are there are two types of values, right? There's personal values and there's the organization's values, correct? Yeah. I, I think uh, you know, when when the when I hear the word values, again, I I'm I'm looking at how I am being valued in in, in my oh. in my space, in, in my uh, family unit, in my organization, you know, that builds the foundation for everything and every action. Yeah. So, Graham, I, I, I'm just curious to know how, how you see values and how you define values. Okay. Yeah, I really good. I, I love talking about this in every workshop that I do on the Leadership Challenge. Values are, of course, very much a part of the first practice of exemplary leaders, model the way. And essentially, this is about understanding what your values are and affirming or reinforcing those values and living those values. Now, as I say to people in my workshops, what are values? Where do you get values from? And I put in a joke and say, well, the local supermarket's got them on special this week. Um, you can go and buy yourself some values. No, of course not. We're talking about that part or belief that you have which guides and, in fact, is so instrumental in the way you behave. Your values impact on your behaviours. They drive your behaviours. And I will then say, so how do we get values? Well, they start. we start getting them at a very early age. And sometimes I say, where do we get our values from? And some people might say, from our culture. Maybe, but before we get to that, where are we going to pick up values from? We're going to be observing the behaviours of our parents. And what our parents do impacts at a very early age on our own behaviours. So you're getting the idea, and of course you know what I'm talking about, because our values are core to the behaviours that we have. They are core. Mm. And I will... Mm. Talk about some examples as we as we go through this and and how your behaviours will allow you to do certain things really well or if there is dissonance, if there is discord or, or a disconnection with your values and what you're doing, you won't want to do it. You won't be comfortable. You won't want to work there. You won't want to do it. So values are so important. And in the workshop, in the workshop of the Leadership Challenge, I have participants defining their own values and and i have a list of about 50 values so here's some of the values that you might have it might be integrity it might be honesty it might be success it might be health it might be um it might be uh, teamwork uh, these are the sort of values that we list and i say to people if there's a value that's not on that list but it's a value that you hold very much to you then please write it in. Let's just have that. This is not a, by any means a definitive list of values. And here's one value that someone wrote in some years ago, and I loved it. I thought, wow, what a great value. And the value that he wrote in was forgiveness. Wow. He, talk, he wrote this as one of his top six values. So he's, the way he lives his life is to be forgiving of what people might have done or what they might say or whatever. So he doesn't hold any negativity to what someone's done or said. And what a wonderful value that is. 
to let go of any blame or any negative feelings. So you're getting the idea, of course, aren't you, Phoebe, about values and the importance of values. So I'm going to ask yeah. right off the right out of nowhere, um, when I say it without any any warning, um, what give me a couple of what you think for you are strong values. Now, before you answer that, before you answer that, let me because we do a lot of work in the Middle East. And when I'm in the Middle East, I say that of the values that we talk about, there are three of the values that we have in this list of 50, which are very strong in the Middle East because of the faith and the culture. So what do you think those values might be? And I know you haven't got the list in front of you, but what do you think might be strong values for people who are of Arabic heritage and certainly of the Muslim faith? What do you think values might be for them? Not always, not everybody, but a lot of people have this. What do you think they might be? Honesty. Yeah. Integrity. No. Respect. Yeah. Yes. Now, why, of course, why is that such a strong value for them? It is. Yes. Why? Here it is. It is fundamental to their faith. Muslims, you know, reading the Quran, you see in there there is there is absolutely a strong, strong indication of the importance of respect for others. It's it's part of their faith. So as I say to people who are of Islam faith, Islamic faith, I say I never have to explain to you what respect is, right? You know. Mm -hmm. So what's another one that's really strong for people of that faith, Islamic faith. Collaboration. No, no. Nope. All of a sudden, I, I'm blank. Oh, you're blank. Okay, so well, here, here, I'll help you out. Here are the other two. Uh, one of them is is uh, faith, of course. Faith is a mm. strong value for. Now, having said this, it doesn't mean it's it's one of their top values, but it is a for, for everybody. But for a lot of people, it is. And the third one is family hmm. I, I, I i joke when i say it, it doesn't happen so much in in the uae now about fridays because friday is now a working day but i used to say a silly question for me to ask a local is what are you doing on friday they look at me as if i've just come from another planet well another country anyway and they say i'm with my family that's a very strong value right very strong. Mm -hmm. and so you know, they spend the week a day on the weekend with their family. So these values gay drive how we behave. So now, mm -hmm. given you some of those faiths, sorry, those those um, values that are fairly strong. No, I'm, don't, I'm not saying that every Muslim or every a, a, a person of Arabic descent has those as their top three. Not at all. But my point is that these are commonly regarded by them as among their top values. So what about you, Jimmy? Tell, what are your values? Jimmy, too. Yeah, I, I was just reflecting on, I, I will come to that, uh, my values. Uh, you know, uh, as, as you mentioned on the behaviors and, you know, uh, I have come across, you know, behavior as a function of um, person and his environment. So you touched upon a couple of things, you know, how... Uh, as a person, uh, who, the environment impacts whether it is yep. parents, whether it is friends, whether it is uh, uh, the uh, cultural background, and 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 from from that perspective, I can now uh, relate to what what you are uh, trying to convey. And when I see my values, uh, one aspect is uh, honesty, which is something which yeah. uh, comes uh, very, very strongly for me. Yeah, yeah. And and and, and second is, uh, for example, um, taking care of people from a, a perspective of, um, uh, you know, how can how can we help someone rather yeah. than caring? So that that there are caring. So yeah, caring. That mind you, there might be another word that has a, a value that has a similar uh, meaning, but caring kind of fits into that. Yeah. Yeah. So how how can how can I maybe how can I develop someone else so that he can be better in what what he does? 
how can how can I enable him? You know, so these are uh, the, 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 these are a couple of values which are coming to my mind immediately. And and of course, uh, family as uh, as a unit, how can I support the family yeah. mo moving yeah. forward? So these are um, uh, again, I think uh, through my actions, I try to bring that in, in, in my place of work, in my place of interaction. So again, uh, honesty aspect, uh, that, that is some, sometimes very critical. Yep. And, and uh, not sometimes, always it is very critical. And second is uh, uh, caring and supporting people. So yeah, when, when you asked about the values, these are, uh, these are coming, uh, coming to my mind always. And look, here it is. We, we will have the value, but we may not have defined it for ourselves, right? We will know the big, yeah. but we may not have put it into a, into a particular box or category. But however, let me give you a couple of examples about my values, and they're similar, similar to yours. And by the way, when I say they're similar to yours, that's one of the reasons why we work so well together, because we have similar values, right? Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned honesty, and I, I've said for a long time that people who I work with and re relationships that I have, people have got one chance to be dishonest with me. I'm mm. not, I won't be around for the second one, right? I won't be around for the second time to allow them to be dishonest. Um, on, on, and, but I also say to people, what does the word honesty mean to you as a value? What is important is not just putting using that label, that's a starting point, but understanding what that value means to you and how you behave accordingly. So, you know, I, I I know that some people, and I'm not specifically mentioning you, but some people have a particular reference to honesty, which is not going to be the same as what mine may be. So when I'm asking yeah. what values are, and they say honesty, integrity, I say, what does that mean? Give me an example of what that means to you. How do you how does that operate for you in, in your in terms of your behaviors? So let me you know I've given you an example about honesty for me. I, I really, really believe that it is important that every working relationship that I have, there must be honesty and openness. And and I kind of very much live by by that. Another one is integrity for me. And I think that's also, I know that actually that that applies to you. Here's an example of how it works for me. Some years ago, and I won't go into some specifics about, oh, maybe I can, but I spoke at a conference um, and the, the conference was in Bangladesh. And I've spoken to a couple of conferences, HR conferences in Bangladesh over the years. And I was talking then about emotional intelligence, one of my other favorite areas of discussion. And after my presentation, someone came who was a friend of mine came up and said, oh, Graham, uh, look, this company, and they mentioned the name, and I don't want to be mentioning names as such, but I'll mention the industry. And they said, I'm sure that they want you to come and do, to do some work with them to help them. And my response was, um, you know, I, I don't think I can. And the reason that I said that was that they were manufacturing a product which I have disbelief, not disbelief, but I disagree with. I do not believe that this product sold in its whatever millions and millions and millions every day is a good thing for people to buy. And I'm talking about cigarettes. I don't believe, and I don't carry a banner saying stop smoking, but I don't believe I, that it's a good thing to do. And I, I kind of believe and I know that people have have had cancer-related illnesses and part, died from that, and they've been friends of mine and they were heavy smokers. So the kind of the evidence is there, right? I stopped smoking years ago, and I've said that I, there is as much chance of me having another cigarette as there is for me having a holiday on the moon. Not going to happen. But here's the point with the po person was saying, but, you know, surely they were... No, my integrity would not allow me to take money from an organization where I've helped them do better selling a product or running a company that is fundamentally against my beliefs. I don't believe hmm. you should be selling cigarettes, period. I believe it is harmful. But as I said, I don't carry a banner saying stop smoking, but I have 
Now, I, I will not accept an opportunity to go and be paid by a company money that they have earned selling a product that I fundamentally disagree with. And that's to me is about my integrity. I won't do it. You know, and, and this is very much about how I how I operate. I like to think that if if people, if I say something to someone, I'll do it. That's it. You I think you know that with me. It's always been the way that I've operated. And that is also related to to my integrity. Here's another story that I tell about values. And I think uh this 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 uh, as you shared that story a similar story came to my mind and, and this is again uh, with uh, with respect to my experience in a workplace and uh, in the workplace i had a uh, on a day i had to leave the workplace very early i had a, received a call from the school where my son is and i had to inform my line manager and this is what he said and phoebe you go don't worry, keep your mobile with you and complete whatever it is required. Don't worry, in case you have to go back to your home, go home. If there is anything I need from you, I will call you in your mobile phone, okay? And forget about everything here Yeah, yeah. in the workplace. We will take care. Is there something which I can do uh, in, in your absence? Is there something which is urgent, which is to be attended immediately? Give it to me. And this was a reaction from my line manager, which I always cherish. And, you know, and that uh, actually built, uh, you know, the honest part from his perspective, as well as my level of trust in that person. And even though he retired and he's way back in India, we tried to connect at times to speak and I, I like to see him as my mentor, my guru or whatever way it is, you know. And and the impact of those words still resonate with me. Yeah. So let me drill this example down in regard to leadership and the workplace. And let, let me just say, give you a, a hypothetical. If your manager... Now, I believe as, in terms of leadership development and working with people that our managers and leaders should talk about their own values and have their team members share their own values so that we all understand what our values are. This, by the way, helps us to get to know that person that we're working with. We may yeah. share some values. We may not. We're not going to disagree with them. That's the value that you have. We're not going to change their value. That's the way they are. But in this case, if, hypothetical, a manager, not your manager, but a manager says, my values include caring and supporting. We are a family. Oh, wow. So here's the hypothetical being extended into a parallel with what happened to you. If that person who is working with a manager or leader who has said that, I am caring, I am supporting, I am, uh, you know, this is a family. And the person like you calls and says, I'm sorry, but I have to take my child to do, 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 do. And the manager says, no, you've got a deadline to meet. Well, how is that going to be met? You should be here sorting this out. Can't your wife take your child to school? This is important. Why can't you come to What does that say about his stated values? I am supportive. I'm caring. This is a family. It just destroys that completely, doesn't it? So here's exactly the important part about values in terms of the leadership challenge, but we'll be talking about all that. You must live your values. If you say your values are caring, if they're forgiving, if they're integrity, if they're honest, all the time, live these values. Because what happens if you don't live that value? What happens? You Yeah, if you, if you don't live the values... First aspect, again, this is my observation, you know, uh, you, you see through that, <laughs> you see through that, but that, you, that action, that person and, and how it creates the culture in the workplace, which is opposite of the value stated. Absolutely, absolutely opposite. Credibility is gone, right? He talks yeah. about it and it's 
gone. Here's another example. There's a lot of positive examples. There's there's negatives that I'll come to in a moment, but I heard this story when I was doing some work in Sudan some years ago, and uh, when I was talking about values in the workshop, and one of the participants said, I want to tell you about a company, and he named the company in Sudan, and this company said, we are very strong on family values. Now, I know that many companies say that they are strong on family values. We are a family. But how really genuinely do they demonstrate family values to their staff, the people who are so important to the success of the company? So this story goes that I, one of the staff had been with the company for quite some years. I gather he was probably in his 50s. And he developed a rare I guess rare cancer, a particular form of cancer. It doesn't matter what it was. I don't remember what it was. It's not critical to the story. He developed cancer. And one of the senior partners of this company that he'd worked with for many years came to visit him in his home. And they sat talking for an hour or so about how his health was, what's happening in his life, how's it? And then this partner said, you know, we say we are a family company. You are part of our family. We will provide all expenses for you to travel to Germany for treatment for your health issue. You are part of our family. We will pay for you, probably for your wife as well, to go to Germany and we'll pay all the medical costs. This is demonstrating the value of family. Right, that's how you would treat a family member, isn't it? I hope so. Yeah, we'd say as a company, we are a fan, you've got to live the value. Now, as on the other side of this, at CHRO, yep, CHRO, I was having a conversation with about his values, and I said, What are your values? Oh, well, I wanted to be this and that, okay, and teamwork, okay, good. A few minutes later, it wasn't much later, but a few minutes later, I said, how would you describe your leadership style? <laughs> and immediately, without much thought, he said, very directive. Um, <laughs> what happened to teamwork? <laughs> so I reflect on that, and I think that in his case, the word team stands for together, everyone agrees with me. T-E-A-M. <laughs> But he's not living the value of teamwork when he says, I'm very directive. So understand what your values are and live the values and share with others what your values are. Phoebe. Yeah. Again, this is, I just want to bring to our audience attention, you know, when when our values are disrespected in our workplace, individual as well as organizational, what 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 I have experienced myself is, you know, uh, it it actually impact our body also. You know, the embodied uh, yeah. uh, it, it impacts our body. We we can sense the level of uh, stress going up, the blood pressure going up, yeah. and how it impacts our thought process. We get blinded by those those aspects and. And it actually is unproductive in the workplace because you are actually making sure. the workplace, uh, a, 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 I will say that a toxic place where the individual and the workers or employees health is getting damaged. Sure. No one is seeing it as a cost when the values are not now. If, if you are not willing to have the uh, uh, values, don't have display the organizational values. And uh, and and live with that. This is my way or highway, and and it can be like that. But if you say that, okay, we are a, we want to treat everyone as a family, and then you know, what happens in that space yep. when family members share their thought process, when their ideas are not uh, shared, but it is no one is willing to listen. But Where these values are going, it is it is going out of the way, and organization gets stuck. Sure. And here's, here's an ex just take that example that I, that I said, which is exactly uh, slightly what you're saying. If a company says these are our values and they don't live the values, do you want to work there? No. You feel uncomfortable. They say these are the values, but they feel, but I'm uncomfortable. 
I often see on websites, we can all do this, we can see the companies stating their values. What really is important, though, not just to state what the values is, our value is customer service, our value is, but to explain what the value is in one sentence, not just giving a word of what the value is, but what that value means to us. And that then helps the staff live that value for the organisation and for, this, for, the, for the, the, the customers to know that that's what the company is, is going to do. Now, let me give you another example of a gentleman some years ago, and I, there are some clues in this, right? So think about these little clues. I was coaching this gentleman. He was an Emirati. That's a clue for what I'm, where I'm headed, right? He said, Graham, I've been offered. He was in the police force, firstly. He was in the police force in a senior finance position. It wasn't a commission. Oh, no, no, but he's a commission. It doesn't matter. But a senior accounting position. He said, I've been offered a job with another company. Okay. The money, the pay, and the conditions are very good. Okay. It's good for my career. The, the, the area of work would be good for my career. Okay. And then he said, but I can't take the job. So when I'm doing talking about this in a workshop, I'll say, why couldn't he take the job? And some of them, oh, the driving was too far away for he where he lived. No, not at all. No. What else? Oh, he didn't like they give me reasons that are not really reliable. And I will then say, particularly if I'm working with people who travel into Dubai. I will say, if you travel into Dubai, you will have walked past this organisation. And they give me some names that are, and I, no, 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 this is guaranteed. You will walk past. You actually can't get out of the airport without walking past the airport. And, and someone finally, hopefully, will get it. So what is the company? The company is Dubai Duty Free. Think of these hmm with you. He is Emirati. Therefore, his faith is Muslim. What mm, is mm. In, in, in Islamic faith? Not allowed to drink alcohol, right? Yeah. He would be selling a in, involved with a company who's sig, one of the significant products of returning the, their income is alcohol, perfume and a whole lot of other things. Now, Sheikh Mohammed said, hey, we want to make money from tourists. We want tourists to come in here. We'll sell them alcohol. It may well be against our faith, but it doesn't mean we can't have set up a process to sell alcohol to people, right? But it doesn't also say that you have to go and work for this company if it is against your values. And it was against his values to be working with a company, good money, good prospects for his career, but selling a product which is against his values faith he couldn't take it where and so people will often find that they are in a position where the work is against their values like mm -hmm. the, no i can't work there but when it is aligned to their values they are more motivated they are more uh, proactive in the way that they're working they are more engaged because they have a connection to the values of the organization now, the critical part here is the leader, when he or she talks about their own values, must live those values. And it ain't hard. It's not hard. But when you live your values, of course, people see what you are doing. As a leader, as I often say, you're being watched. Whether you know it or not, you're being watched. Now, people are, people are just observing certain things about what you do, and they're thinking, hmm, that's not what he tells us to do. Hmm. He's doing something that's a little bit different to what he wants from us. When a leader mm. lives their values, that absolutely has people wanting to be with him. Now, I'm going to come back to you and I'll quit the question in a, in a moment, but let me just make this point. I've talked about organisational values briefly when I said some companies will spot on the website, these are our company values. Which is most important in terms of effectiveness and satisfaction for the people working in the organisation? Which is most important? Is it the individual's values or the organisation's values? In my perspective, it should be both. You know, like yeah. as as an yeah. So I want 
okay my uh, the individual values he say or uh, practice is it is it displayed in the workplace as well as no. uh, if it is along aligned with the organizational values if it is not it becomes challenging no. it and becomes uh, it, it it becomes uh, uh, you know it it is a dissonance which which creates friction in the person and uh, yeah. and that is where we, we see you know uh, people starting exploring new opportunities from the workplace trying to fly out of that place to some somewhere new where they may feel that my values and nowadays we can see these data in social platforms like glassdoor where people sharing what the organization stands for what kind of workplace it is they rating their feedback so i, I think more than ever uh, people are more aware of what yeah. the organizations say they value and what they practice as their value is here's a simple simple example people choose careers quite often based on their own values and here's an example that stands out for me at the moment if i was to say to a nurse tell me about your values what do you think one of those is going to be it's going to be caring for others right it's yeah. not I'm here for the money or, you know, but, but it's going to be quite often about those values of wanting to help people. And that's a driver for them. That's influencing their behavior. And if they're in an environment where they can't help people, they're going to leave. They, you know, I'm, oh, I, 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 this is about my values. Phoebe, the most important message that I hope we can convey to people in this discussion is firstly for them to understand what their own personal values are. And, then to live those values, particularly as a leader. If you talk about this being a value, you got to live it. If you say, yeah, I'm caring. If you say I'm honest, you said I'm honest. So, and I'm absolutely putting my hand up with that one. So if I see, if, if someone's going to see that I'm not being honest, I lose credibility as a leader. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. One of my, I lose credibility if I'm not showing integrity. If I talk about loyalty as a value, I've got to show that in what I'm doing. Values. Yeah. Glad you asked the question, Phoebe. Values are so important. I think this is a good discussion, and I hope that others recognise the value. Uh -huh, sorry, pun in talking about values. Yeah, and, and 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 you know, as in the leadership challenge, always highlight: do what you say you will do. Uh, <laughs> it is as simple as that. Yeah, for a leader to practice. Yeah, do what you say you will do. Not just occasionally, not just on Thursday at three o'clock. Every time, right? And this yeah, is your values. You're living this. Right, you do it. You say, yes. "Bibi, we, our time is up. I have enjoyed this. I value your input as always. So, thank you very much for being again with us on our weekly conversation. And next week, we'll be joined by our colleague and good friend, Muhammad Shukri. So, thank you, Phoebe. I hope you've got value out of this discussion today." Of course, Graham, as always, and it is a pleasure and like to thank you for uh, having these conversations. And And I ask uh, the viewers, please uh, spread the word, subscribe, yeah. comment, bring yeah. your thoughts, questions, help us to spread the word. Absolutely. Yeah, well said. And the, the email address is on the front of the Leadership uh, Challenge Middle East uh, channel page. So talk to us by email. And we'll talk to you. Thanks again, Vivi. Have a Thank great you. Take care.